Yo, welcome back. Today, we got Supreme Week 7, huge drop list. We got box logos, we got beanies, fire week. I'm going to break it all down in the video today. Let's go. What's good, everyone? Welcome back to the channel today. Got that Supreme Week 7 drop list for you guys. I'm going to break it all down. It's going to be a pretty big week, so I want to make sure you guys can cop. If you haven't already, make sure to also hit that subscribe button. Turn those notifications on too, so you know when I post some fire videos. And also, if you guys haven't already, make sure to check out that giveaway video. I'm trying to give away some free shoes to you guys. The steps and rules in there are all in the video. They're in the description, so make sure to check that out if you guys want to win some free shoes. Got the laptop today. I'm going to be showing a side-by-side. -side. I'm going to go through some of the drop list today, and then I'm going to also break down retail, resale prices, some of the big things you should go be going for, and also some of the things you should probably pass on. But it's going to be a fire week. This is supposed to be one of the most anticipated, heavily awaited for weeks, and Guys, you're not gonna wanna miss out. We have the long-awaited box logo, long sleeve shirt coming out. So make sure you guys stay tuned for this video. I'm gonna break down that drop as well as how you guys can actually cop this box logo. I'm gonna go through manual methods on mobile as well as on desktop, on browser, so you guys can cop too. It's gonna be a crazy day, so I wanna make sure you guys are ready. Let's get into it. All right, so this one's gonna come a little bit early for you guys. There should be some more items that'll be loaded up for the drop this week, but I wanna get this video out so you manual users out there have a chance to cop this box logo, because guys, this box logo is so sick. It's gonna go crazy. No matter what color, honestly, there's a bunch of different colors you can see. It's supposed to be releasing in the black, white, heather gray, red, navy, purple, that forest green right there, orange, and yellow. Guys, this is going to be a crazy drop. Box logos, we all know that they go absolutely insane. Value is always super good with them. And a long sleeve is going to be really nice, especially for the fall, winter time. It brings a good vibe. I think people are going to go crazy for these. I think the actual resale is kind of going to kind of go down. I don't think it's going to be super insane, but it is going to be a super good cop. I think retail is going to be around $70 to $90. And then I think resale probably be around $2 to 250 I think it could definitely have potential to go high, um, but I'm not too sure right now. It's still a simple box logo. It's not nothing crazy like the COVID box logo or anything like that. So right here you can see we got that shirt. And then if you look at the other colors as well, you can see all those full colors right here. You kind of got that green. It looks a little darker there, which is what I kind of think the color will look like. As far as the best colors to cop, I mean, a lot of them are gonna be really good. I really think this purple stands out. I love the heather gray. Red's always a good move. And then you got black and white. So, I mean, those colors you can never go wrong with. And then always, I feel like there's always some like sleeper color that comes out. So this like orange, I think could be a nice vibe. I honestly think the SpongeBob SquarePants looking yellow one, not gonna do too good, but I think it'll be the least hyped one out of all of them. But I still think every single one is a cop. As far as being able to cop them, stick around to the end of the video. I will break down how you guys can set up the best method to be able to cop anything really on Supreme that's going to help with the BOGO drop, so stay tuned. All right, as we go back down this drop list right here, if you guys are looking for the drop list or any Supreme info, supremecommunity.com hooks it up big. They got a lot of info. But right here, as we scroll down, you can see the Smurfs T right here. And I honestly think this shirt is going to do some crazy good numbers. I think retail retail price, I think is gonna be kind of low, not super insane, I hope. But then I think resale could definitely hit towards $100. There's a lot of different colors coming out and I vibe with this red one pretty hard. You can see that nice vintage Supreme lettering on the back. And I really do like this one. The colors coming with this one are basically some of the like basic colors. Like I think there's a white, there's a black, yellow. You can see the yellow actually on this page. Where are we at? That yellow right there looks pretty sick with that vintage looking back. I think that shirt is fire. I think it's gonna do very good. I would not sleep on that one. I think that and the BOGO is gonna be some of the best items this week for sure. All right, let's talk about this one real quick. What is up with this Colgate toothpaste right here? We got Supreme collab with this. There's nothing special about it. I'm a Crest guy, frick Colgate. I don't even like that stuff. But all they did was put the Supreme logo on the Colgate. However, everyone should also be trying to cop this because I think hopefully retail is going to be about ten to twenty dollars. Won't be super insane, and it's it's another dumb nice Supreme accessory. So I think it'll sell upwards of 40, 50 bucks. So still a good cop. 
it's just basic. There's nothing cool, like, I, I don't know. Nothing amazing about it, but I would still go for it. I'm gonna go for it, so I'd probably recommend it. Going down to some of the least hyped things that are coming out this week. We can go through and see kind of these lower rated items. These are just like people voting who go on the site, but I still definitely agree with them. The Supreme shirt, I don't think is a move. Uh, this flannel, you can definitely just go to Goodwill, hit that up for a $5 flannel shirt. So I don't think there's anything special at all with the flannel. The Dragon Hockey jersey looks weird. That's a pass. And then the lamp shirt also, just, no, it's just not it. So definitely don't, don't even really look at those. I would say just kind of pass over them. Now you see the Supreme Fox collab finally come out. You can see they got a bunch of these puff jackets that are going down. We got the sweatpants as well to match. And then up here, yep, we got the sweaters, the hoodies as well. And I mean, I'm not much of a Fox guy. I'm, wouldn't probably go for these either and i don't think they're gonna be too crazy i think retail is gonna be pretty high on all of them pants hoodie and the puff jacket puff will definitely be over 200 and i think the sweatpants and the hoodie are gonna be pretty close over 150 at least going back to the full drop list let's get into some of these new tees that are coming out i like a lot of the designs actually let's actually start Where's she at? Here at the clientele one. This one is probably the most sleeper shirt. I would not sleep on this one if you have the chance to cop it, maybe like in store or if you somehow have time when you're trying to cart the other items. But this one I think is gonna do really good. This is actually with, it's like honoring Wu-Tang Clan member Ghostface Killa. And I think the shirt's kind of sick. I'm not too big on the front, but I like the, touch on the back and then you can see that mini like supreme logo on the bottom i think this shirt will do good and then we also have this nice sun tee and i think this sun tee is gonna do some good numbers i think this one is kind of underrated i mean it's voted high as you can see I'll throw my vote on there real quick but i know there's gonna be different colors it doesn't say any other colors right here but as you can see on that last page you can already see that red color and so i think that is going to be a good cop as well I don't know, sun tees sometimes do good, sometimes they don't do good, but I think this one you can kind of count on. I think it's a nice design. It's got that nice like animation of the sun with the Supreme right there. So I think this would be a good item to cop as well. Moving on to the rest of the tees, we have this ultra fresh one. I'm not a big fan of this one. That ultra fresh, just I just don't really like the logo on the front either. So I'd probably pass on this one. The scratch tee is kind of sick though. I kind of vibe with this one. You can see it's kind of in a bigger font on this page. You can see what it actually looks like. And I do really vibe with that one. And then we get into this other one, this pills tee. And I think this is a very interesting shirt. You saw on the last page, oh my goodness, in this like brown. I, I definitely don't think this shirt is it. I would hardcore pass on this one. Ooh, another good one. I, I missed this one. We have the Futura logo crew neck. These sweaters. I think honestly, this could be one of the best items of the week beside the BOGO, of course, but I think this is gonna do very, very well. We already saw some Futura stuff drop and the resale's doing great. I love that pink color in there. The white is nice, black's always classic. And so I think that you guys should possibly prioritize this one as well, because this one is gonna do very good. I could see retail being kind of high, maybe like 120, 130. Um, but I think resale will definitely still be up there. And I think you'll be able to make some profit off these, probably a little more than the shirts as well. So I think that crew neck is definitely a go. And then last one, we got the big logo beanie. You can see that plaid design on the other ones on this right side. And then you got kind of the plain designs. And I do like them. Um, they release a lot of beanies, but I think these ones are kind of unique, especially with like fall, winter coming up, it's getting colder. And I think these are a good vibe. I think people will be trying to go for them. Again, beanies usually don't sell too well, and so there won't be too much room to make profit on them, but if you can get some, I think they're still a good cop. I do like some of the designs, and I think there is gonna be a market, especially with winter coming up. I don't see retail being above 50 bucks, but resale probably will stay around the 60, 70 range. So wage your capital and all that kind of stuff and see if you guys can actually cop that. If so, I think it'd be a good cop. Quick recap. Definitely go for this BOGO shirt. 
stay tuned. I got the way that you guys can cop this coming up real quick. I think Colgate is a cop if you guys can get it real quick. Futura logo crew neck, definitely cop this. Big logo beanie. Um, me personally, I won't be going for it, but if you like get it in store and they're there, definitely cop them. So there's, they're still a good cop. Sun tea, I do like that one. I'm trying to go for that one. Smurf T, 100%. That might be the one I go for first. I love that shirt. Ultra Fresh T, gonna be passing on that one. The Scratch T, I think I might go for it after I see the different colors that will come out. Hopefully they come out soon so I can see those. Clientele, it's gonna be a good cop. I think it's a sleeper. So if you guys can get your hands on that one, that's a good one. Definitely drop the pills, drop the cap. I won't be going for any of the Fox stuff, but I think it, it has potential. It's gonna be a high retail, but I think it's got potential to give you guys some money. That stone wash sweater is nice, but I'm gonna be passing on it because it's that wool material. I would I would wanna wear this one and I just don't think I wanna wear wool, so nah. Puffy jacket, too high of a retail for me. Sweatpants gonna be up there too. That Supreme shirt, no. Flannel, no. Hockey jersey, no. And the lamp shirt, no. So that's a short breakdown of the drop list for this upcoming Supreme drop. Now, of course, they, all their products haven't been released yet, but those will come out soon, so stay tuned. There should be a bunch more coming out, but these are definitely the most hype items that will be coming out this week. Now, I'm gonna tell you guys how you guys can actually cop really any item on Supreme, but especially this box logo long sleeve shirt because it's a very important drop. Everyone should be going for it, hands down. And I'm gonna give you guys the way. It's super easy and it just saves you so much time. It's honestly, manual users, it's your only chance to cop on Supreme. So let's get into it. All right, so I'm gonna set this up on a brand new Google Chrome user because I have some other autofills that I've used in one of my Discord groups, but this is gonna be brand new and probably the best way for you guys to cop. So you're gonna wanna set up this autofill. Now this way that I'm going to show you guys is free. It's not going to cost you anything to be able to set this up. I know there's lots of groups or extension tools that people actually make. They cost monthly, but they do actually increase your chances by a lot. But for specifically making it free, so you want to go to the Chrome Web Store. This is going to be the best place for you to find it. I cannot type. And then you're going to go search in the store. I think you just search autofill. So there's even like autofill supreme on there, but it is this first one right here, this lightning bolt. So you just want to add that to your Chrome, add extension. And this is really going to be one of the best ways that you can do this. Honestly, as you can see, like people definitely use this for supreme, for cyber. There's definitely other ways like extensions that you can use down here, but this one is very good. And so I would use this one if I'm being honest, but let's just go straight to Supreme. And once you get into Supreme, you can go into the shop. View all's on the bottom. That's one of the best places. All right. So what you're gonna wanna do, here's this. So here are the steps to kind of set up this autofill and make sure everything's working good. So you're gonna wanna go, I usually just go to accessories. You can add really any random item, but you can just add anything. Let's just add this keychain. $18 keychain, oh my gosh. All right, so we're gonna go here, not Frank. So Frank, D, Frank, D7. Sorry if there's a Frank D out there. Telephone number. address 7D Northfield. You get the point. You are gonna wanna fill out all this stuff. And once you get all this stuff filled out, I don't even care. I'll be, I'm sure. Then you're gonna wanna go here, credit card number, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Just fill that out. Go through this, put all that stuff in there. You guys get the point. You're gonna wanna get all that stuff in there. And then what you're gonna wanna do is go hit this autofill button. And you're gonna press new up here, you fill it out, you press new, the profile name, you can name it whatever you want. I'm just gonna name it Supreme, one. Name it Supreme, and bang. It is all saved, you're gonna hit generate autofill rules, and there you go. So that means it is all done. So now what you can do to test this is you can go out, you can remove this. Now let's just do it again. Go to Supreme. It's right here, let's say this is drop day. 
refresh, refresh. When's the site gonna open? Nothing yet, nothing yet. All right, and then that site opens up. You can go shirt. All right, then that site opens up. You're gonna wanna just find that product. I recommend having either new bookmark or like shirts top so you can actually get into that box logo quick. Once you do, you'll hit it and maybe we should use a shirt. I wonder if there's a shirt in stock. Okay, we'll use these. So you'll hit it, so literally just add any size and you'll just hit add to cart, go to checkout now, bang. Right there, it's all there. If you have your CVV, just type that in. Red terms, bang, process payment. You're done. Just like that, it's that quick and it's super, super easy, it's super quick. And that's honestly the best way that you guys can cop on Supreme. It gives manual users a chance because a lot of people can get card declines, people can have payment errors. And so this way, it, I mean, you might have a payment error too, but this way is probably the best way that you'll be able to cop. But yeah, let me know if you guys need any help with anything. That's gonna do it for today's video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, turn the notifications on as well. Check out that giveaway because I'm really wanting to give away some shoes to you guys. That is gonna end October 11th. So make sure to go hit that up. Thanks for sticking around. We'll see you guys next time.